welcome back to our survival let's play on Jack Pine which I think is now episode 16 possibly I'm sure it's 16 today a couple of things firstly you'll see we've skipped over the late summer period I did say I was gonna skip over the first in-game day I decided to go through the second in-game day as well all I did in the meantime was I kept the greenhouse running and I kept the pigs going um, other from that I didn't do anything else no logging or anything I've noticed as well just when I was looking at our potatoes it looks like we missed a grow a uh, fertilizing stage on this one down here I never even thought about it didn't notice until it was too late so that one isn't going to be as productive as what we'd have hoped um, and what we in early autumn now so I mean any time now I can't actually remember I'd have to go back I can't remember when they were planted whether it was um, early spring mid spring or what um, I don't know whether I had the idea at the time of leaving them in the ground as long as possible so it's possible that these won't even be ready until sort of mid to late autumn regardless whether I want to keep them in the ground or not so that's them but the reason we are starting at the store is because we're gonna buy a new bit of kit and the thing we're gonna buy is if we go along we're gonna to go to Lieber if I'm pronouncing it right and we're gonna buy this the 902 so we're not gonna spend that wheels Nope. Don't need narrows. Don't think we need wides. Keep that a standard design. Yep. It is for forestry. So we'll keep it at that. And we will spend 90,500 on that one. And with our 14,000 left, well, just now we're going to buy this for 10,000, which is the TX52, and that is what's going to help chop them trees down. It has a trailer link as well, however, it does only go 15 mile an hour, so I can't see us carting anything with this. Yeah. I mean, this should make our life so much easier. That's got one in the front as well. They're just normal trailer hitches, aren't they? Just have a look around. I'll have to find out who done the mod I have a feeling it's uh, I don't want to say the name wrong it's North Modern Company possibly does it tell you if you go on here no it doesn't do it. I'll have a look I know they do quite a bit down uh, of um, forestry. Basically, I looked through the um, forestry section and everything is just so expensive. This was pretty much not our only option because there was something else we could have got there was a cutter that goes on the front of a, uh, a wheel loader however 
it, it just wasn't going to be suitable, I don't think. So I'm going to put the help window on for now. Switch that on. I don't actually know what lengths we'll be able to pick up at, and I do need to get a trailer. Swing back up, there we go. That not quite didn't quite take to it, did it? Just have to get used to these controls. There we go. Change the camera around a little bit. Well, that didn't work. Right, should we try it on another tree? We'll go back around. I wonder if that's why the... Um, there was another camera angle, wasn't there? That one there. I know I said this will make our life easier, which I think it will. I just need to get used to the controls of doing it, that's all. See if this works a little bit better. Yeah, see, that's what we wanted the first time. Right. That worked. Can I pick these up? I can. Brilliant. Spin this round. This may take some time to get used to this. Nearly had it. Uh, 
Let's try another one. Right, so if we just let that turn naturally. Take it out a bit. I'm sure we can get it where they're going to actually sort of pile up neatly. I would have thought that you'd have been able to turn I've rotated the actual cutter, but it doesn't look like you can, unless it's on air. Yes, there we go. I was just being daft. Why is that going on now? Right, does that just fall automatically? Want them down. Right. There. Right. I think we're getting the hang of it, aren't we? It only took 40 minutes to do that, but I think we are. And can that be lift? Can that now be lifted back up? Yep. I don't know if I'll stump grind over there. Get over that, we might have to take it down a bit. Around to the front. Try for me now, then. I 
think I was a bit too high with that one, wasn't I? Yeah, just a bit too high with it. Our road really is just about clear, isn't it? This is so much easier. Now I'm starting to get used to the controls. This is so much easier than going along with that chainsaw. How do I rotate that one? That's just going to hit into us, isn't it? I'll take it around the other way. Yep, yeah, we'll go there. That's better, isn't it? Raising it up. Let's get that back up. Lift, bring it round, and it'll rotate for as well, it? Yeah. Now, if I can get a few trailers together as well, I know there's some cheap ones from Modhub. Then I'm going to be able to take a hell of a lot of wood at a time as well, Anna. Which way is that going to go? Over there. That'll do. Right, that's loads better, isn't it? Just the way that's stacking. I 
think we're getting the hang of it now. I didn't expect pretty much the entire episode to be us playing with this. However, it's, it has took longer for us to get used to the controls than what I thought it would have. The only thing I'm concerned about of getting trailers, some logging trailers, is the speed of our tractors, or the complete lack of speed of our tractors, more importantly. I think the Massey's the fastest, and I'm sure that's only 19 mile an hour. Where are we going? There we go. I mean, what did I say this is? Did I say episode, episode 16? I certainly didn't expect us to have something like this in episode 16. So, I think... We're well ahead of the curve in that sort of respect. So that's that cleared, I think. I'll go back and check, but... Is that our road done? Try not to go over the stumps there. Ah, one more. Yep, yeah, one more. Right, I think we have nearly a clear road, other than we need to get the stumps out, which we'll do with the Massey, and then get the, try to decide whether we want a trailer or we're going to continually use the truck. We need to decide that, but we'll do that in the next episode. So, we have our 902, I know it says that on the boom, but I'll just make sure that is what it's called, yeah. We have our 902, I'm kind of getting used to the controls and I think we can see what the benefits will be once we get up and running with this. We're going to be able to clear quite large areas of um, forest and We'll look to get more, more arable crops into the ground um, come the spring, I think, because this will make it so much easier to do. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.